Hey everybody, welcome back to my new Surviving Alpha 18 series, The Seven Days to Die. <coughs> um, we got a bit of a zombie horde downstairs, I think. They've beat their way in. I don't know if they know I'm up here or not. They were just kind of wandering by. So they may have just smashed into the building, I don't know, for whatever reason. Uh, let's eat some of this to start off with here. Uh, it gives us a bit of water health. I was hoping to try and get uh, enough experience through the evening. What I was doing is I was smashing some stuff up here on the roof. Got a bit more iron, some electrical parts. Yeah, I can hear them down there. Uh, I went downstairs and I smashed up um, a couple of the toilets, got some short iron pipes, broke the leather downstairs. We got that. We're getting ready for the forge here. Just need two more leather for the forge. Like, I don't know if they know how to get up here. Doesn't matter, we're leaving here in a second anyway. There we go, there's the morning. So we're gonna bug out. Uh, let's get some more, actually let's grab our frames from over here. Yeah, you can hear him down there. Um, I was really hoping to get enough experience. I almost got enough experience to level up so they could make some food and stuff last night, but don't really care. All right, so we need clay today. We need some stone today. Uh, we need to get um, some more leather, which shouldn't be a problem. I think we can probably knock something up in one of these buildings to pick up some leather. Um, and what else do we need? We need at least 150 clay, which shouldn't be a problem. You can just dig it anywhere here. Hey, buddy, what's up? Can you hold this for me? Yeah, see how he gets close to you and then he's just like swinging. Stay down. Nice stamina. Eat that. Ooh, groin shot. He looked like he was in pain from that. Hey, level two. Okay, so before we forget, let's just quickly go and get... Uh, where are you here now? No. Why it's in strength, I don't know. Whatever. Maybe you need to have the strength to be able to make food, I don't know. Whatever, let's just knock this boulder up. All right, that gave us about 61 or so stone, which is great. So that'll be enough, we got those already. Hey, Mo. So Mo's a lot more dangerous than he ever used to be. Ooh, throat shot. That's gotta hurt, eh, buddy? Yeah, you gotta be careful because you could, if you're going for the head, you can miss really easy with the spear. Like that. I don't have stamina. Because of course I am. Where's my spear? I said it glows a little bit so you can find it. See how he swings? He's just expecting you to show up there. So the spear's got a lot more range to it, but it doesn't do as much damage. See ya, Mo. Alright, let's... Uh, we need clay. Don't need that right away, though. I mean, we should probably do that. We should probably grab ourselves some clay and then go back and get some iron going. Because I want to get that club earlier rather than later. The train that they down here is, like, so much better looking. The blocks are really nice. Still kind of has a weird, uh, when you break certain certain terrain blocks, they look a little weird, but it eventually sorts itself out the more you dig. Okay, 132. 154. Now we need some for the forge, too. So let's grab a bit more. They've done some work on the stamina, too, so you don't get so, so tired when you're just digging stuff. Which I think is a good change too, like, nobody wants to spend forever digging up clay, you know? Or smashing stone or whatever. Because you're getting tired all the time and you can't do anything and... Alright, that should be plenty. Um, the mailbox has become more important now too. Before it was just like paper, every once in a while you'd find something else in here, but... Now you can find those, uh, 
the uh, like perf books and stuff, which is really, really good. Some more duct tape. I just made one last night too. All right, another mailbox over here. So we have enough to make. So that's good. Yeah. All right, let's go look for an iron node now. We're gonna hit some chrysanthemums along the way too here. Oops. Should not be using the iron tool for that. So the iron tools you gotta re re use um, repair kits to fix. Yeah, you see that glitch up there? You kind of do this and then you do this and you, sometimes you get weird glitches. But they're working on it. You know, it is an alpha build and it's still experimental, so. All right, got that. Don't see any iron though. All right, I'm kind of just down the street from where I was. Still haven't seen any iron nodes. Uh, but we're going to just take a look around the town here. Take a quick look, see if we can find a nice... Uh, I don't want the moldy... I don't know. I want to keep everything now because they've changed the recipes on a lot of stuff, so it might be more valuable than it ever used to be. Got that. Um, I've always been a pack rat, but now I'm more so a pack rat because there's like lots of stuff that you could use for different things. Okay, another passing gas. Is this the passing gas we passed when we came in? I don't think so. Look at the map here. Where are we? Yeah, it is. Um, so let's head north. Just hitting up random chrysanthemum so I can make some red tea. Really hoping for an iron node, man. What do we got in here? Oh, there's somebody over there, though. I see you. Still don't know any better to... Oh, there you go. I helped you down. Now, don't be mad. I helped you. Oh, boom shot. Okay, five arrows, so not bad. Hopefully we get some um, better bows earlier rather than later. Okay, concrete mix is always good. If we got lucky and find a mixer early on, that would be great. Trash compactor. Oh, pink hoodie, cool. Put that on. And scrap that. Shamway. Oh, come on. There we go. Hopefully it's got something we can eat right away. Sham sandwiches, huh? All right, let's get out of here. we got to find a place to live. Oh, church. We could, do, we could do the church again. But I don't think so. Let's find something different. This is a different one, though. This is all wood. Basically the same layout as the other church, just wood. That'll go down hard in the apocalypse. Okay, let's scrap these. I should just drop this stuff. Um, what do we got over here? Ooh. Man, you know, you just want it. Like, they changed the uh, map generation so that you don't get two POIs of the same type in a city, which I think is good. But it just makes you, oh my god, a tire. Makes you want to explore even more. Enjoy! So that wasn't so bad. Look at you. Tough little bastard. See what I mean? Like, you can grab your spear from quite a distance away. So fighting one zombie is, like, easier now. You don't even need to get close. Oh, another one. And I can't tell if he's raging and going faster or what. I mean, I'll take the free XP, but sure. My stamina. Did not find any food, did we? So let's eat this. Use one of these. Another Zamboni over here. And that looks like the end of the town over here. Ah, crap. The sound effects are better, too. 
Oh! <laughs> See ya! They've got the ragdoll physics going on now in the game too, which is awesome. Alright, hit this up. Um, so we got the passing gas. We were going north, weren't we? Yeah, I'm going the wrong way. Ah, I don't know why I'm grabbing stone. Bad habit, I guess. Oh, cement mixer. Okay, mailbox doesn't work. Mixer. That's nice. Cobblestone. Let's grab this stuff. Alright, and this should do about, just about do it for here. Some stone, some cobble. That's nice. Some cement. Keep heading north. Hopefully we can find a nice place up here. I mean, I, I could turn any of these places into a base, but I'd rather have something that's a little easier. With a nice framework. What's that over there? Is that just rendering wrong? Yeah, it is. Okay. I thought maybe it was like an interesting place there. Oh, this is kind of a nice little compound house with a fence. Oh, there's some iron. Nice. All right, let's hit this iron up. It's going to take a little while to knock this out, but at least we get a bit of iron to start. We definitely need it. All right, so how this works is once you knock that out, if you hit this up, you can see down here, there's like four more iron around here, and then it just goes straight down. So you can go down from here and uh, find a ton more iron. So it makes it way easier to go mining, so you don't have to dig down through all the clay. But it's still slow with the stone axe. Um, but like I said, that's why we're building this forge first. So we'll be able to make some tools, make all this super easy, and then we can just start gathering a ton of stuff. Because, I mean, before it was always you'd have to wait till like level 20 to make iron tools. And being level gated like that made the early game really slow, unless you could find stuff. Okay, so we'll leave that like that for now. We've got, what, how much do we have here? 63, that's probably enough. Okay, and you notice here too, these farm plots barely give you anything now. Which is nice, so you can't like live off the farm plots. But I'm going to leave them for now until we get living off the land level 1, which will allow us to pick up two of those per. So the living off the land now doesn't just let you harvest your own crops for two, it lets you harvest any crops for two. Which is great. I mean, they don't give you as much there, but still, it's kind of good. Alright, so that house, no. Another iron node, it is. Okay, good. Lots of iron around here, which is great. Um, all houses down here, eh? So hoping for something a little different, but maybe we take up a house this time. We always kind of build our own house before, but maybe we take up a house this time. The thing is, we're not going to, like, I don't know. It's tough because you can't just, like, I, well, you can't. I mean, you can leave stuff on the first floor if you want. Crap. You can leave stuff on the first floor if you want, but why? Like, you get a wandering horde and they break in. Especially early game. Any arrow here? No. Where'd my spear go? If they break in early game, um, you know, they just destroy everything. So you got to have, I mean, at least for me anyway, I like to keep stuff up on the second floor. But really, nothing. Um, I guess that guy was not very popular. So this looks like the end of the town, and I got another house down here. Yeah, I keep, like to keep everything up on the second floor, and that way you don't have to worry about uh, them smashing everything too much. Oh, wait. Here we, oh, it's down here you got to look. <gasps> Mini bike schematic. Nice. All right, let's go over here and check this one, too. Yeah, it's the lower. Wow, that's weird. Yeah, just paper. He, like I said, he wasn't very popular. Looks like there's a busted out house over here with a tree house in it. It's kind of nice to live on the edge of town. Oh, this one's got an underground bunker under it. We don't want to go there. What about that one? It's got a brick fence around the outside. Little tree house you can hide up in. Oh, we can't really hide up in it because we'll knock the tree down. Have this. 
I don't know. It's always tough to decide because there's so many great POIs in this game. This is definitely like a residential town. Yeah, that's like a lot of work. If I'm going to do a lot of work, I'd rather take one that's like completely hollowed out almost. Like that one over there. Because then I don't have to knock as many blocks out to fix it up. So these are all houses. Wait, is that a military base back there? Or is that a trader? There's a spotlight there. Come on, render in. What are you? It's not a trader. Some kind of military base or something. Yep. Some kind of survivor camp. I don't see any mines around it, though. I'll have to go in there at some point, but we're not going to do that right now. That would probably just get me killed. You know me. All right. Let's keep looking around. Yeah, see, there's a few places like this where the roads are all kind of buckled. But, you know, it is the apocalypse, so things have gotten old and deteriorated, so I don't mind stuff like that. You know, sinkholes happen. All right, that guy's not popular either. Nothing amazing down there, except for maybe that dead body. Uh, not going that way. Yeah, so the towns are much better looking. And the sizes seem to vary a lot more too. See if I want, oh, what's this? Battery bank schematic. See what I mean? Like you can get st pretty cool stuff to start with and be able to make things early on in game, which I think really is the best way to play. You know, you want to determine what your build is going to be. I mean, people say, or people have done, like, you know, I'm not going to go that way, uh, different types of builds, like uh, perception builds or strength builds or whatever else. Um, but I like skills that are in all of the trees, so I have a hard time uh, doing that. Let's just scrap that. Well, I'm not seeing anything that's immediately sticking out as a good place to live. I mean, I guess we could still use... I mean, we're right there. I guess we could still use that place. I mean, it does have a wall around it. It's going to require a lot of work. Like, I'll have to rip everything out of the basement. Um, or not the basement, but the uh, main floor. Now oh, we got another zombie over here. So we'll pull everything out of the main floor. We can just... Um, once we get a wrench... Oh. Die. All right, let's go home, make the forge, um, get some tools going. <sighs> Add some better weapons. Stay down. Yeah. That's a little easier. Yeah, I think we can make that work. Prowling Pete's. We'll be called, so we're going to call ourselves Prowl and Pete then, I guess. Maybe we should do a stealth build. Stealth build, Prowl and Pete. Sure. Let's use that as our base. Why not? And the top of the Prowl and Pete post, that can be our emergency. We need to get the hell out of here. We can go up there. Yeah, we can use that as our uh, escape place. All right, let's get up on the top, Prowl and Pete's. We need to get a better way up here, too. Like, having to go through the inside and up through the roof. Oh, they've broken a lot of shit out here. I'm going to have to get rid of these cars, too. Or they're just going to blow them up out here. But the new blocks they've got in-game um, definitely make the game look a lot better. It's getting more and more realistic every single version. All right, let's go up here. Can't get the third one, eh? All right. I'm sure I could have done it if I was building properly, but you know me. How often do I build properly? All right. A lot of iron up on this roof we can clear out, which is great. Let's have a look in here. Okay. 
This stuff can all go in. Oh, leather. We didn't get the rest of the leather. Gonna have to do that. All right, let's go looking for leather. I'm thinking we're gonna find it in this apartment building. All right, so let's get down there and hit that building up. I don't know if we're gonna find leather in there. I mean, if we had a wrench, we could take these cars apart, but you can see they're still having a bit of trouble here getting the uh, things to match. I know the ground is slightly lower. Uh, is there a, there must be a way in around back. I wonder if we should just pull our way up though. Probably. Oh, we could go up in there. Yeah, I don't see any way in back here. So let's go up here. See what I mean? Like, I don't know if there's any way that they can get when it spawns in that it can raise the ground up to, you know, like the flat level. There's got to be a way to do that. Anyway, let's get in here. There's our leather. Let's see what else we got in here. Maybe we can pick up some stuff while we're here. Get that in a minute. Hopefully for some more clothes here. Hopefully we can find some more. What the hell? Why does it not have arrows loaded? Whoa. What's up, buddy? Might as well wake him up, eh? You jerk. Here, hold that. Ooh, beds. Nice. Beds are great for springs and stuff. Gonna need those. It's a bit of clay. What's up, lady? Ooh. That was a nice drop. I like the fact that it doesn't stick in her, too, when uh, it drops. God, these pictures. They could have added a few more. Because, damn. That reminds me, her. She reminds me of a young Catherine O'Hara. If you know who that is from SCTV, check her out. It's really funny. But that's what she reminds me of. I don't know who it is really, but uh, let's loot this place. It's nice that we're finding canned food. We don't have a lot of the other stuff right now. All right, black dye, eh. Oh, that's nice. BDU top. There's our wrench. All right. Uh, let's wear that. Yeah. <laughs> Take this out. And let's put that on. I wonder if we should put that on the football helmet. I think we're going to put it on this, though. Uh, yeah. All right. How do we look? Yeah, that's killer, man. Okay, we need a... Uh, is there a foot? Does a football helmet have a die on it? No. Uh, let's modify that. Can we die it? We can. Yeah, man. Let's check it. <laughs> sure, why not? Let's <laughs> scrap this. Ah, uh, the clothing in this game is awesome. Okay. Um, let's get the leather and get the heck out of here. All right, grab a bit of that uh, plastic off the window there. Oh yeah, what's in here? Ah, I'll take that. Keep hoping for something. Oh, Christ, are you serious? I just took damage from that. Well, plastic can be sharp, I guess. Nothing. Um, what if we smash this bed apart? Oh, we got a little bit of springs for that. Do you get more for... Wait, what's in here? Bathroom. Okay, need the cloth for sure. What's in here? Pants? No. Better wrench? Yeah, some acid. Take that. All right. Well, wait, there was another bed in here, wasn't there? Yeah, let's just break this apart. Really looking for the springs more than anything. Okay, nice. Okay, I'm not going to search anymore here. I'm going to go back and get that forge going. 
All right. Got to find a way. You know what we should do? Getting a little laggy here now, too. What we should do is um, build a, like a little ladder ramp up. So we got a pole here, and then we just build a, uh, put a ladder on it, and then we just have a couple of frames that we can go across to get up here. I don't think, if the zombies get inside, they're not going to find their way up here, I don't think. Okay, let's put, let's scrap this. Okay, we're going to need this, this, and this. We have our clay on us. We don't have our clay on us. There it is. So let's make that forge. And get that going. That's going to be about a minute or so to get that working. And then let's drop... Got lots of cloth. That's excellent. Uh, yep. Yeah. Let's keep the wrench out. That can go in there. That can go in there. Actually, we need some of the clay out. How much iron do we have? 63. So let's get 63 clay. That can go back in. The wrench. You know what? Let's take the wrench right now. So we're talking about wrenching this apart. I think we can get some steel from this. It's just iron now. Really? Oh, wait. There's forged iron. We used to get steel off this. No. Just three forged iron, eh? 120 iron? Okay. Well, we'll take it. We're going to need 20 forged iron to make the tools we want to make, so uh, let's... Is our forge done? Almost. 24 seconds. Um, so what else do we need here? Uh, I think that's... I put everything away that I needed for the forge, did I? No, I didn't, because I got... <laughs> I'm making the forge. Oh my god. You can see where my brain's at, guys. Like... Oh man, there's a reason why I haven't been recording. I'm just so out of it. I'm telling you, man. I don't know if anybody uses a CPAP out there, but if you do, and before you were on it, remember what it was like having being foggy all the time and like, because you're so tired, right? You're not getting the proper sleep. All right, let's get that going. It's just, it's awful. It really is awful. Okay, so we're going to wrench a couple of things up here. Just get them out of the way. Get some stuff off this. I should wrench those cars before we lose our wrench. Well, we won't lose our wrench here. Radiator. Really? We've got a radiator. Okay, let's put those in there. Cooking grill is going in here. Because we can use the repair kits to repair the wrench now. So let's go back down. Huh wrench these cars. Okay, so there's that one. Let's get this one. Okay. So they've also changed the recipe for paint, though, which I thought it, the new recipe makes more sense, but it's like it's frustrating because it's, it's oil and chrysanthemum now, one in one, to make 100 paint. Whereas before it was like the three, like chrysanthemum, goldenrod, and cotton, plus uh, murky water. So now we can just repair this. So you don't need steel anymore for this. It's awesome. Right, so, I mean, now it's not, we don't have to worry about any of that, which is great. Now, can we, are these just wood? Oh, that's forged iron. Wow, that's like 100 hit points. Did we check all this? We didn't. Okay, machine gunner. What's this one? Uh, to walk your fire into the target when firing automatic weapons, fire is more accurate with each fired shot. I'll take that. I guess I should read it, though. Okay. So that should be it for the cars. We're going to have to clear this. Uh, we're going to make this our base. We're going to clear this place up. Um, yeah, those textures, man. I don't know what's going on with them, but hopefully they get that fixed. And I don't know what's my, what's my uh, video card, but I got a pretty good video card, so I'm not sure that's the case. Okay, so let's just get back up and get those tools made. Uh, where's our... here we go. We'll get those tools made. 
Then we'll worry about what we're going to do out here. Okay, so forged iron, we can make as much as we can. Well, only 16 so far, eh? Well, let's get it started. It's going to take a while. Uh, maybe we go out. No, not that. And get some more shiz. Okay, let's get... Um, where is our cloth? See, this doesn't... While the texture is nice, it's difficult to see it. If it was a different color like yellow or something, it would be easier to see. I find the, the new icons are really nice looking, um, but I don't think they're that intuitive when you first look at them. You're not like, oh, that's this or that's that. Right? It's not as intuitive, I find, as the last one. And now I'm getting this... See the lag here? And then it's like no lag. I don't know what the deal is. There's something weird going on with lighting or something. Because it does it like during the middle of the day and I don't know what that is. Oh, I'm going to need this. This is um, nitrate powder. So we're going to need this to make farming blocks. And a whole bunch of it. We need 25 per farm plot. I should have got some food when I was up there. Okay, that gives us enough to start with. That's nothing. Yeah, see, it's like so laggy all of a sudden. All right, we need some more wood. What do we got for wood here? What, 200 and something, 300 and something for stone. Let's grab this. I want to keep the area clear around our house so at least I can see what's coming up on us. Okay. And let's knock this guy down too. Yay, level three, excellent. Okay, so we already had the ability to... What did we take last time? We took uh, Master Chef. So we could take Lucky Looter. Salvage Operations, maybe. We can get more stuff from that, I think, than looting. Um, Pummel Pete. Hmm, Healing Factor. Iron Gut's a nice one. Living off the land, we can get more food this way. Um, we can't make seeds though, that's the problem, right? Light armor, lets us craft light armor. Um, let's take that. Ah, uh, no. Do I want to go up in intellect? Oh boy, it's so difficult. This is kind of why this and hidden strike changed. I used to use this all the time, but now it's only like with knives, right? Sneak attacks deal 50% more damage. Over in the showers and use stealth and sneak attacks. Oh, I thought this was just for knives only. Well, we'll find out. Let's use the, go use the bow and see if it works. Oh my god, the lag. What is up? I got nothing going on in the background either. The weird thing is, is I can normally play this game while I'm compressing stuff in the background, but uh, like that was with um, Alpha 17, but ever since Alpha 18, it's weird. Like during the day, I don't know whether it's the shadow mapping or what it is, but during the day, uh, it can get pretty laggy, which is weird. Okay, we don't want those. Tell you what, let's go over here and have some stuff. So apparently they've got it set so that when you're in buildings, it doesn't render stuff in the distance too. Okay. Take these. Okay, this has got to be the way in, but how do we... Oh, there's... St okay, there's stairs. I think this building has been changed slightly from before. They've changed a lot of the interiors of buildings, which I think is a great move. It uh, makes the game interesting again for those players who have been playing for a while, because now it's not exactly the same as it was before. So it gives you a reason to go back in all the old POIs again. Okay, we got you up there. 
Yeah, two and a half. Okay, I don't know why I thought it was just knives. My assumption was that that was just for knives. Okay, suitcase. No arrow back, eh? What's up, girl? Wake up. Don't bang on that. I'm over here. Oh, I missed you. Boom. Oh, you're taking a beating, eh? Okay, what do we got in here? A whole lot of nothing. Hang in here. Yeah, a whole lot of nothing. Alright, I guess we're going up. It's hoping to have iron tools done by now, but we'll have to do that tonight. Ooh. Thank you for that. Looks like we're going through there. Hopefully there's no birds up here. What do we got? Bird's nest. Oh. Wake up. Right in the throat. Good night. Yeah, you know, Glock9 made a really great comment about this game. Some people were commenting about, you know, it was lousy this, lousy that, and bad graphics and stuff. But his comment was, and I agree 100%, how many games can you play that are like this, that have a 100% destructible environment, right? Everything is interactable, everything is destroyable, everything is buildable. Like, other than Minecraft, like, what can you think of game-wise that's like this? You know? So, yeah, the, if the graphics aren't 100%, I, I don't personally care. I think it's freaking great. Ooh! And the combat is actually pretty good, too. Ooh, next shot. Get my spear back. What do we got here? Maybe we find something good. Ah. I was going to say, maybe we find something good so we don't have to make something tonight like some kind of tool but apparently not still getting crap all right what do we got down here oh I don't like this are we able to get back up here where's my frames looks like we'd be able to get back up here Okay, I don't see anybody here. That does not mean there isn't anybody. Okay, somebody in the kitchen. Now that's a piece of glass right there. See, it unloads it. I don't know why it does that. Oh, you know where to go, don't you? Oh, that was terrible. Hip shot. I don't think I can shoot through those bars. Oh man, I'm sucking it today. What? Why did it unload? Well, sucks to be you. Tell you what, let's go down the proper way. See if we can pick up our arrows on the way here. I should grab this leather at the same time, but don't think we need to. Yeah, they changed this slightly, I think. Okay, we got her back there. I was hoping some of my arrows survived, but it doesn't look like it. Okay, let's kill her. Really? Here another sleep or two. Definitely here somewhere. Okay, she's back there. 
That's the loot room. Nice. Wake up, girl. It's party time. Party time. Excellent. Let's grab that. Let's keep the club out here. Ooh, ammo. Nice. Now that was beer, I think. Some of the icons are really weird. I guess it depends on what type of beer you drink. What color you would make the beer canisters, but uh, I don't really, I don't drink beer, so I don't know. Okay, coffee. Oh, yucca, that's excellent. That's beer, I think, again. Nothing here. Uh, let's grab a little bit of leather. We've got seven at home, but let's grab a little bit more. We don't get much here, but might as well just have enough for at least another ten at home, just so we can make another forge if, we, if we're so inclined. Okay, this is nice. Keep in mind, kids, everybody at home, if you want to loot, go into this place first. Lots of food, looks like. Oh, there's some honey. Good. That's just in case we get infected. It's always good to have a couple of them on hand. Grain alcohol. Peas, huh? Let's just take it all. Come on, be something good. Oh, are you kidding me? Uh, let's use this. Let's use this. I'm going to take this and put it on. Take that and put it on. And we'll take both of these. A level 3 pistol. What the what? Let's use this. Take those. Uh, and let's... Oh, what's behind here? Anything? Nothing. That's it, right? Got that. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. We're moving real slow, but we're close to home, so we're fine. Now, let's go out... Here? Sure. We're taking the same amount of time to go up and around out the back way, so I might as well just go that way. Yeah, the lag. I don't know. Scott must have something to do with the lighting. I don't know. I may have to, like, I'm trying to bulk record these so I can at least re release them, you know, um, so that uh, you guys got something to watch. But I may have to restart between every, every episode because this is... Uh, some badass leg. I'm going to leave this here. Don't need to pick it up. Alright, let's get up here. Wow, so slow. And I'm not going to bother putting up a frame over this tonight. Wow, okay. Well, we need to get more storage. What have we got in here? Oh, we got a fair bit in there. Let's just do this. We'll split it up tonight figure out what's going to go where. Excellent. So how much more for, we can't make that much more forged iron, eh? Um, how much can we make here? 54 seconds, we can make nine more. All right, let's grab our iron out of here then. How much do we have? Where's our iron? See, it's... I don't know, the new icons are nice, but it, I find it makes it more difficult to find what you're looking for. I'm sure I'll get used to it. I'm just bitching right now, but I'm sure I'll get used to it. Okay, six, and turn on. Let's get our forged iron. We can get ten now, nice. Let's get that going. This down here will be all of our food, I think. 
food and beer. I know beer's not food, but put the cooking pot in there. Yeah, food and medical supplies, I think. Yeah, just barely enough room. And that's fine. I'm sure there's more up here that can go down there, but for now we'll leave it like that. So we've got a full-scale wrench there. Pistol can go up here. Hunting rifle, nice. Might be able to sell that. I'm not going to make any repair kits. Hopefully we can find some tomorrow. Uh, but we do want to make some weapons. Let's bring the forged iron out. So first thing we want to do is go and do... Um, iron club? Where... Oops. Iron Reinforced Club. Where are you? What am I missing? Oh, leather and duct tape. Well, that would uh, kind of give it a hampering, eh? Let's find it here. Leather, duct tape. Let's do that. Uh, looks like we need it for pickaxes and stuff, too. We do. Okay. So Iron Reinforced Clubs. Craft one of those. Um, see how much like We need a lot of forged iron. But it's easy to repair, right? So that's good. We get the club going. We're going to want to get a spear going. Uh, we're going to have all iron tools, so we'll take that out of the slot there. I don't know if we're going to have enough iron to be able to do all the tools we need, though. Um, oh, there's 19. Yeah, we might. We need to do a pickaxe. We need to do a spear. I think the spear, iron spear... Um, weapons so if we go to iron spear that's 20 i think it's 16 so that's not so bad but we need two duct tape for that so we're gonna need to make duct tape do we have i don't think we have any glue so we have to make some glue here so let's get our bones and let's get our murky water and let's just do five Okay, now we're going to need five cloth as well. Okay, so that'll let us make a few more things. So now we can make our spear. Yeah, and spear. Let's get our weapons done. So that's, I mean, it's a little more damage than what we had. Scrap these guys. A little more than what we had, so that's kind of good. And let's see here, the tools so that we need an iron fire axe which is two duct tape and an iron pickaxe which is two duct tape so we're probably just going to have enough for it and recipes duct tape oh we can't do it yet we need um, seven going oh we need to get some clay in there Yikes! 60, 72, 90, 6, 102. Yeah, good enough. Okay, 16. Is that enough for... How are we doing here? Man, these tools take forever to make. These are still going too. Oh, we don't have uh, enough wood. Derp. Derperly, derperly, derp. All right. Getting there. Keep cranking it out. There's the 20. So let's just uh, cancel that. Yeah, it's cool. Like, you can find the recipes for all these mods. Now you don't have to find a mod schematic. Uh, for each one you want to make. You just need to find a schematic and then you, it lets you make it as many times as you want, which is fantastic. Okay, so two duct tape. Let's craft that. And then let's go to tools. And we're going to go with the iron fire axe next. Pickaxe, fire axe. It's the same recipe for both. Probably go this route, I think. Okay, so that can come out. Yeah, I know, the stuff's only level 1, but still it's better than what we have. There's our glue. Cancel that. And recipes. Max it out. So I'll make these tools tonight. 
I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I'll make the tools tonight, um, and then tomorrow... Um, let's craft that. How much do we need here? 57. We got enough. Um, so tomorrow, uh, what we'll do, um, once these tools have been crafted, is we will... Um, God, I'm losing my mind here. That should be enough. Um, we'll go out and we'll hit up some POIs with the new gear. Try and get some new shiz. Uh, I'm going to try to find some good places around here. Maybe we'll hit up that house over there. Uh, maybe we finish up the building next door. We never did finish the whole place. There's a back room upstairs and everything. Uh, we'll need to hit up some iron. It's nice. Look at how, look at how those are shining there. You can kind of see where the, uh, the nodes are. Wow, it's kind of cool, all the reflections and everything now. But we'll spend some time at some point fixing this base up on the roof here. Uh, we will make this our base. We'll put a, put a lid on the top of this. Probably knock out the bit below here. Um, and uh, make it accessible right to the bottom floor. Maybe we cut a little bit of an opening here so we can shoot down if, they, if the zombies break in. We might make this our horde base too. I don't know yet. But Or I might just attach it onto the back here. Like just out here. But we'll see how it goes. All right, so I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can drop any comments in the comment section down below. And until next time, we'll see you later.